my weekend here in Paris Supercross. It was, it was, uh, it was pretty good. I feel like I had good speed, uh, qualified fastest, which was cool. Six minute races, I was right there close to uh, the front, you know, the leader, like I was, I had the speed to win them, I won one. But uh, 15 minutes, just I don't got the full gas in me yet to go, uh, you know, the whole, the whole, the pace, the whole way. Uh, so I'm a little bit frustrated with that, but you know, I've really only had a couple weeks, maybe two and a half weeks on Supercross. Um, since after Monster Cup, I took a little break and, and uh, you know, then I, and then I went to Oz and then I've been here. So, but no excuses really, just um, Marv kicked her butts this weekend and yeah, it's definitely motivating. I want to, uh, I really want to be up there with Marv and I used to not really get frustrated when he beat me last this past year, but now like it kind of frustrates me just because I want, I really want to be up there battling with him. So, uh, I got a little bit of work to do, so. Yeah, we'll uh, work on it when we go back. We've got six weeks, so glad to finish these off-season races healthy and uh, get some really good testing in with the team. And yeah, going to Anaheim uh, looking good. Uh, Sunday was a little less uh, stellar than Saturday, but still okay. I just did some really bad starts uh, the last two main events, and that was that. I pretty much uh, just kind of battled from the back to fourth in both of those. and. That was uh, the end of the night, really. Um, a little bit, like I said, it was a little bit of a disappointment compared to last night, so, oh well. Does uh, racing a 450 teach you anything going into Anaheim 101? For sure. Uh, it, it makes me more strong and more attentive and uh, also a little, maybe a little more aggressive, but I don't know if that's a great thing for me. Um, but uh, I just feel more... Um, like I can command the bike a little better with the 250 when I get back on it. It's the same outdoors as well, and that's kind of why I rode it a lot this summer. So um, yeah, I, I'm happy with the way it went, and I'm glad to come away healthy and um, take some experience and, and uh, some memories. Not the best weekend, but tonight was pretty good. Yeah, no, I, yeah, it was it was a good 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 main event there in that last one. Um, got a good start, kind of. I didn't have a crazy um, crash or something going, so rode solid and. Um, Vlog the laps. So work through and you ended up fourth, right? Fifth? fifth? Fifth. Yeah, I was fifth and I was I was right there with Zach at the end and um, we were kinda playing cat and mouse and then I just ran I uh, ran ran out of time, I ran out of gas, you know, and, and Zach got fourth and I got fifth, so So how's the wrist uh up here? Um it's it's sore. It's definitely swollen for sure, so um, we'll go home and we'll get it we'll get it looked at again and, and from a doctor that uh, I know and um, we got it taped up and I, you know and, and just tried to ride you know I didn't fly all the way over here just uh, just to spectate and um, be a fan <laughs> so how was, it, how was uh, day two? Uh, it was cool I mean we had fun uh, tried to stay out the ground as much as I could but I found it again uh, second in the second uh, six lapper but uh, like we felt good but it's just like we can only go so fast and then uh, Jeff team owner texted me like right after the first one and he's like uh, stay safe on these travels or something and I waited to text him back just before uh, until the last race just because I don't want to jinx anything I'm stoked to be heading home uh, healthy these last two weekends were a blast uh, hopefully next time we have a little bit more time to uh, get ready or maybe even just a set up or something but uh, man, it was, it was fun got to do it with Keith and stuff so it's cool you know I'm excited to get back get, get uh, ready for 2018 can I ever Google? Yeah. <laughs> I'll get, I'll Google it. Right, nice win. Uh, yeah, tonight was good. Uh, yeah, yesterday was my first time on the bike and first time with the team, and, and there's a little bit of a language barrier too, so we uh, we struggled trying to get the bike set up, and every time I rode, it got better and better, and uh, yeah, came tonight and for the main event, got off to a decent start and, and just rode, and the bike was working good, and, and uh, came away with a win. I think in the heat race, you wanted to get a good start so bad you didn't get really off the line. That was one of the things we changed. Like I was having difficulty with the clutch springs. We had some like stock clutch springs in and right away I'm like, man, this clutch lever is just way too easy to pull. What's going on with this? So I asked them and they were like, oh yeah, we have heavier. And I'm like, yeah, that would be great. You know, so we changed the clutch springs and that thing bit like the gate dropped and I was like, whoa. So, um, and then in the main too, I thought I had it handled. I was like way over the bars and uh, um, it, it did the same thing the first the first start of the main and then they red flagged it luckily for me and uh, I figured it out for the second start of the main. Cool.
Thanks, man. That's what you need. You take just some parts you need to take back the uh, Yeah. Team Mom will get mad at me if I don't have my Honda logo facing forward. It's a pretty good night. Yeah, it was good. Um, yeah, just, uh, I mean, everyone's going fast, so it's, it's tough. But uh, first, first one, I kind of just, like, was sleeping on the gate, a little nervous, I think. It, like, you know, we started so much earlier tonight, it was kind of hard to, like, get going and get my mind going. So I uh, had to come back a little bit, but uh, second one was good. I came out, you know, third, I think, out of the gate, which was pretty good, and then passed, I think, Iswad was second, so I passed him. Started catching on Marvin a little bit, and... Like the fans just started kind of going crazy, so I was like, all right, I got this. I gotta like, gotta do something, you know. It was kind of hyping me up, and then um, knew I was quicker in the whoop, so I just sent it, and uh, I, he knew it was coming too. And tried to block me, um, but you know, just that's the only spot to pass really was the whoop. So sent it in, and and uh, was able to hold on to it through the next couple of turns, and then uh, he tried to go underneath me again in the whoops, but it didn't work out, and was able to actually pull a pretty good gap. So it was definitely a good race, and then. Going into the main event, I tried to do the same thing to him, but you know, Marv's a very smart rider. He's kind of aware of the race situation, was able to, uh, to hold me off. And then uh, by the time I, I had caught back up to him and, and tried to do it again, the, the whoops were pretty beat up. And uh, actually, the whoops are really hard out here. They're probably harder than most of the whoops that we, we come across in, uh, in the States. So um, yeah, I just wasn't able to kind of get close enough after that and uh, just rode a, rode a pretty good pace to, uh, to second. So it's nothing to complain about for sure. You know, coming out second overall is still cool and my first uh, first time over here, but would have liked to win for sure. Kind of taking that, uh, you know, King of Paris home with me. I take it you practice a lot of starts. I did practice starts, that's for sure. Uh, but you know, my, uh, how do you call it? Uh, uh, Partner training uh, Zach Osborne was right there too, and we practiced start together. And uh, but yeah, definitely on the weekend that uh, the key was uh, the the start, and I was able to get a few hole shots. And because uh, you know the track was difficult to pass, it was super choppy, and the berms were not so many rats. It was slippery, so it was definitely not easy. And uh, and obviously I'm glad I had good starts, even if my speed was you know pretty good. Uh, you could see on that second heat, you know, Cole Seeley was riding better than me and, and, and he beat me, so I had to get better for the for the main. What did you do different? Well, a little bit more uh, commitment, you know, into the going into the, the main event. Uh, two days of racing, uh, it's tough, uh, to be honest. You know, the body was tired going into the main, but, uh, you know, uh, I was focused on myself, on my riding, and uh, all I had to do is to be smooth and fast and and consistent so that was my goal that's exactly what I did so I'm really really happy about it uh, Cole was right there but I got better in the whoops uh, it was a different way to go through the whoops so inside or outside obviously inside you get zero speed coming in so you had to make it happen and but I'm glad I was able to do both even though they, they were a little quicker than me in the whoops um, you know for a long main event uh, I was the most uh, consistent so I'm and really happy sometimes you're jumping through the yeah, in, inside. I mean, it's you turn right into the first whoop, so there's no way you can get speed in, in, into the whoops. So you had to uh, jump it. Uh, so I, that's what I tried to do a couple times. Uh, kind of looked slow, obviously, but I was gaining time on the first turn, and, and out of the, the whoops, I was able to, you know, get into a good position uh, for the next turn, and I was actually making, you know, good passes after the, the whoops. So uh, you have to put everything together. Um, that's what I did. Um, I'm glad I did, you know, different technique. So, you're wrapping up your off season with another win. Uh, how does it feel to uh, be King of Paris? Yeah, it's amazing to be uh, once again King of Paris, uh, especially that time uh, at 10 Paris. Uh, I had a great time. Uh, once again, you know, all my family, all my close friends were here, and uh, all the fans. 24,000 people yesterday, uh, maybe a little bit less today, but the crowd was amazing. Feel like I had to win. Uh, I didn't want to disappoint the French fans, and uh, and it's been amazing, you know, to, to win uh, again. It's off season. It's nothing on the championship, so uh, but it's good, you know. I'd like to thank uh, once again, you know, uh, Red Bull Kitchen team for for the help and, and Frankie for the hard work going to Austria, building a bike and, and driving all the way to Paris. That's a lot of work, and uh, I couldn't do it without him and, and then the team. So it's awesome.
Hey, going back to Monster Cup, did you take the one-time cash out or the installments? <laughs> I don't even know. You don't know yet? Well, we've been working on it, obviously, and uh, it's actually a little bit of a pain to, to win the, the yeah. Monster Energy Cup, but it's, uh, it's, a, it's a good problem to have, honestly. So, uh, so we'll probably take, take the payment, but anyway, I uh, have good people, you know, Mathilde and everybody working uh, on that, and uh, I'm focused on racing. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so much.